What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of PNTS Network, MM2K Gaming, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture, you name it. I'm there. CGTV, Triple B, when I can't, you, you name it, I'm there. All right. I, I'm coming to you with a very special video, a rant video. Okay. So this is going to be lengthy hopefully not too lengthy but lengthy enough for me to drive my point home if you understand where i'm coming from and why i feel like gamers definitely have to stand up and start saying something something i've been saying for years but i've been called like a flip-flop or a hater all that crazy stuff hopefully now with the recent events that are happening that have highlighted this video i can now drive my point home and it makes sense so I want to say hello and welcome to today's rant where we'll be discussing how Xbox seems to be sliding away from the box in a way that is leaving many gamers frustrated. Now, specifically, I'll be diving into the concerns that gamers have over Xbox's handling of game development in their recent acquisition attempts and why in lieu of all this, it's time for Xbox gamers to take a stand. But before I get into that, I, I want to show you guys and gals something. So take a look at this. So this is a tweet that really is at the heart and soul of this video today. I, 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 I was I just shook my head when I saw it because honestly, I was borderline disgusted. For those of you that are not aware, um, Redfall, which is being done by Arcane Austin. I, I don't know their exact name. Um, that is under Bethesda. And you, as we all know, Bethesda has been purchased by um, Microsoft and as part of the Xbox gaming first party wing. Uh, Redfall, they announced not too long ago, is going to launch at 30 frames per second, 4K 30 on the Xbox Series X, the world's most powerful console, quote unquote, and 1440p 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series S. It's got a lot of gamers mad and upset. Um, and m quite notably, the Xbox fans, they are upset. They're going crazy all over Twitter, and rightfully so. However, you have those staunch defenders of Xbox, no matter what, that are also on the platform and making all types of excuses. And here goes one of them that, again, had me borderline disgusted. Uh, this Reddit post, I mean, this Twitter post, excuse me, says Arcane Austin hasn't ever released a 60 frames per second game on console. Prey, Dishonored, and now Redfall are all 30 frames per second. Perhaps it's not their design focus. They haven't released any next gen updates either. People blaming Xbox when in reality, quality rise, nothing has changed. <laughs> So I saw that and I said, hold on. Now we got to stop. We, we got to stop the tomfoolery. I said, this is like saying in the PlayStation 3 era, Naughty Dog never prioritized 60 frames per second. So lack of focus on it here on here on out is excusable. Number one, this is a first party studio. Number two, it's exclusive to a product known as the world's most powerful console. So therefore, in 2023, 30 frames per second on that style of shooter plus the above equals unacceptable. So I don't think that I can get any plain in as far as highlighting what is ridiculous of all the damage control there. But for those that still get caught in the murkiness of all the excuses that are being made, I felt like. Well, then let me uh, make this video. All right. So let me ask you gamers, are you tired of Xbox's lackluster game offerings? Are you frustrated with Phil Spencer's inability to bring critically acclaimed AAA titles to the console? Well, if you are, it's time to take a stand and demand better. Not just put out a, a post on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And saying, see, this was a... Uh, this, this was me not always defending Xbox or simply say, yeah, this wasn't cool. This is an L for Xbox. No, it is an L for you as the consumer. It's not an L for Xbox because Xbox is still getting your money. All right. Now, while 
Xbox has expanded into PC and they're looking to get further into mobile gaming. Um, console gamers have been left behind with limited success and a lack of addicting gameplay. The recent news about Redfall and the proposed um, Activision Blizzard acquisition has only added to concern that Xbox is fostering a ceiling of mediocrity across gaming. Let me explain. How, how does this involve um, Activision? Well, because of what's going on with Redfall, a first party studio that even for your next generation console is now putting up a ceiling at launch of 30 frames per second, which begs the question, why did we even pay $500 for next generation box? If you're going to do that with, with Redfall, then what's down the pike if you do get Activision Blizzard, right? Xbox's treatment of console gamers as second class citizens is unacceptable. It's time to hold them accountable and demand better. And again, you ain't going to do so by just putting out a stupid tweet. Yeah, see, I could criticize Xbox. This is an L for them, even though they're counting your cash, right? How do you demand better properly as a consumer? Well, if Xbox doesn't improve, it's time to consider leaving the ecosystem. You must show Xbox that you as a gamer deserve high quality games without just a lip service. They got to come through. All right. You deserve those high quality games and that you won't settle for anything less. So let's start with the elephant in the room as we discuss this. And that elephant is Xbox's failure to bring quality games under Phil Spencer's leadership. Because we, we, we got to deal with that. I know everybody wants to defend Phil, but as the old saying goes, a fish rots from the head. And quite frankly, it's been a rocky road for Xbox in recent years. While they've ushered in the shooter era on consoles and made them commercially successful for gaming, Xbox has not a, had a critically acclaimed AAA game outside of the Forza Race series since Phil Spencer took over the division. Games like Gears 5 in the Tomb Raider reboot and State of Decay 2, you know, which were like the biggest bangers, quote unquote, if you want to consider those games that have seen very limited commercial success and then fizzled out due to a lack of addicting gameplay loops. Even highly anticipated titles like Halo Infinite and Crackdown 3 fell well short of engagement numbers and financial expectations. Many Xbox gamers defend Phil Spencer's missteps too much while he has done a great job honestly of expanding the Xbox ecosystem into PC and attempting to do so in the cloud and mobile gaming, it's clear that he is failing to deliver high quality games for the console and console gamers. Gamers need to hold Xbox accountable and demand better. Now let's talk about the concerns that gamers have over Xbox's handling of Bethesda games like Redfall and why they would harm gaming if allowed to buy Activision Blizzard. The proposed Activision Blizzard deal has gamers worried that Xbox again will continue to foster a ceiling of mediocrity across gaming. Now the incident that, that triggered all this doom and gloom, quote unquote, <laughs> um, is in the latest round of concerns regarding Xbox from the Xbox gamers and observers of what's going on with the platform. Um, it is sprouted about due to news over the upcoming game at Redfall, which we talked about earlier. Issues with Redfall are outlined in various sources, including the most recent, which is the 30 frames per second cap on Xbox and console gamers are livid. Gamers feel like Xbox is treating their console owners as second class citizens versus their PC counterparts. And I know this is something that's only symptomatic at launch, but when they say we're bringing 60 frames per second at a later date and you don't, you know, help nail down or narrow down when that later date is, yeah, that second class citizenship thing really applies. Um, now all of this shows that Xbox does not care about console gamers anymore. And, and it's time for Xbox gamers to take a stand. Now, if Xbox does not improve, gamers should announce that again, 
stepping back from the ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting my, you're not going to continue to get my money for me to just simply go on Twitter and say this is an L. You know what I mean? Continue to think that Xbox has an incentive to do better is not enough. Xbox gamers deserve better. So again, you have to demand it effectively. Therefore, in conclusion, this this Xbox quandary is real. And it's time for Xbox gamers to take a stand. Xbox's failures to deliver high quality games, the concerns over their handling of Bethesda games like Redfall, and what streamline effect that would have if they acquire Activision Blizzard and get more hands on the most popular uh, third party titles. Has everybody concerned? And it also shows that they do not care about the console gamers like they should any longer. You deserve better. I know I sound like a broken record. You deserve better. And it's time to fight for it and demand it. Because if you complain on Twitter, hit send, but then also let your payment go through off your credit card, they have no incentive to stop this. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll check out the next video. With that said, if you like what we had to say in this video, or you didn't, because like I always say, who cares what I think? Let us know in the comment section. Tell us what you think. All right. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, here, MM2K Gaming. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and rock those bells, please, if you did enjoy the content. And I'd be remiss if I didn't show you this before we left. Uh, Not to hand cut chicken, (laughs) nor the ad. This is our website for PNTS Network. This is our mother site for all of our content for various PNTS Network creators. You can see all of our news articles, our, our streams. Um, our podcasts and if you're particularly looking for where I'm at because I'm everywhere um, you can go to the member section look for MM2K Gaming right? look for me click on me it's going to pop up and there goes you find my gaming motto and all this stuff and you know you can even see my Twitch streams when they're live and my other YouTube content and also it has links to all of the places where you can find me at All right. so with that said oh and one last thing Please check out our friends over at CGTV Network and also the Broadband Bullies. With all that said, I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.